Well, this is quite possibly the weirdest thing I've done yet. They summoned the Whomping Willow into the entrance hall. Isn't that some shit? I don't know. And apparently there's no collision detection here, but yeah, here's the final command. Literally a summon command, hence the title of this video. Again, just make sure you type it out exactly right. So, you need a space between summon and H game. H game is one word, and a period separating H game and whatever entity you're trying to summon. I guess what I'm doing right now. I'm the snitch, bitch! Seriously, most entities you see in the game can be placed in front of you, and then you take control of it using the SCTP command. I'll show you in a minute how you know what to type, which honestly I should have done in the last episode, but names like Ron and Hagrid are easy enough to guess. I'll see if I can go up the stairs or not. Oh, nice, I can! There's no way I'll get through that doorway, though. Not without using the ghost command, at least. Good, now it's sitting in the grand staircase area, which... I wish it would try slapping the moving staircases out of the air. That would be cool. Given that the Whomping Willow is walking around inside the castle, I'm sure he'll understand if you're a bit late. Oh, and I summoned this chest here too, but nothing happens when I cast on it. I guess it's empty by default and needs information programmed into it about what items it should be holding. Okay, I fucked up the sound on this clip, which is why it's silent, but here's how you know what to summon. When using the Dragon Unpacker program, go into the Animations folder in your installation directory and open one of the files, and it should show you a list of things you can try and what name to use to summon an object. Uh, note, for instance, that you need to only type the word snitch instead of something else, such as golden snitch. Most of these can be summoned, but a handful never seem to work for some reason. Also, I think these pumpkins will keep growing back forever, and they already come preloaded with a few beans each. Laceus with Harry? Been there. Done that. What about with Flitwick? Now that's a fucking interesting idea right there. Fucking Troy going under the gate, short stuff. If it goes to you like everyone else in this game. I can't collect beans as Flitwick either. I still don't understand why I don't just start sliding automatically at the beginning here. It's fucking weird. <sighs> but no, there's just something special about some little part coming up here. Yep, there we go. Uh, he totally could have cleared that jump if it weren't for what I suspect is an extended invisible wall of collision detection above that railing. Okay, apparently our super skilled charms professor can't do Spongify, something even the incompetent Gilderoy Lockhart was able to teach Harry last year. Ah! So he yelled like Harry, that's pretty amusing, but why did he steer to the right? I didn't make him do that. Now go forward this time. What the fuck? I swear I'm not making him do that, but I don't see the point in trying the same thing a third time, so let's do something really wild. You may recall the Cutting Room Floors article on the PC version of The Prisoner of Azkaban that I've mentioned before, and it said that hidden in the game files was a character from the last game that never showed up here. Or anywhere in the third book or movie for that matter, so let's see here... Oh yeah, it's Aragog. Not even the people on that website know why he's in here. Nor do I have any good guess. I'll take control of him though, let go of Flitwick. See, look, he went to the right on his own, and now he's just... What the fuck is he doing? Guess he's gone. Oh no, he's back. What? Why did I stop? Now I'm going uphill? What the fuck? Did it just play the same sound effect a dozen times all at once? For fuck's sake. Okay. Let's see here. Controlling Aragog isn't quite as easy as controlling Harry on the slide, but it's not too difficult either. Oh, well, that's just great. He's too big to fit through this opening. Oh, well, that was unexpected. I'll fuck this thing up by tickling it with my legs. 
cool. I think I stunned it. Hagrid would never hurt pixies, even if they're throwing glitter bombs at his face. It doesn't matter. Seems like none of the characters except for Harry, Ron, and Hermione can cast any kind of spell at anyone or anything. It's just not part of the programming. But on the other hand, no one else has a health bar either, so Hagrid can take an infinite amount of abuse from these pixies or any other creature that threatens him. Oh yeah, no one else can get beans, but I've mentioned that a few times before, aside from the Lapifor's rabbit and Draconifor's dragon. I can go down here, right? Well, probably. I didn't miss the platform. Of course, I could have simply taken the stairs, too. I was even standing there seconds earlier. I don't know why I didn't do that the first time. It really is weird how even though no one can cast a spell, they can still do that wand glitter animation thingy as if they were about to cast something anyways. Get your fat ass down the slide, please. There are salamanders waiting for you. Are you shitting me, though? I can't fit through here? I know Hagrid's big and there are icicles hanging from the ceiling, but that's bullshit. Just stupid fucking invisible walls. No sudden burst of acceleration on any portion of the slide? Okay, then. At least I made it to this platform, though. Am I standing on air here? I just partly scaled the wall and jumped over it. And those pixies still won't shut the fuck up. Looks like we have more imported 3D models from the previous game. I don't know why they weren't used. They don't really need to do anything other than float around in the corridors. I mentioned earlier how when you're riding Buckbeak, that seems to be its own separate model. I was right, but I can't fly anywhere, I just walk around as usual. Although at least I can jump forward far enough to reach this first platform. Oh! What's weird about this one is I tried summoning this several times before it finally appeared successfully. And as for only Harry riding on Buckbeak, I haven't been able to summon that one at all. I don't know what the deal is with that. Here, I'll try it again. Summon H game, Harry Buckbeak. And nothing happens. I have no idea what I'm going to find outside. What's Hermione doing now? Even Ron's staring at her like she's a lunatic. Now I can't even see her anymore. What kind of a train exterior is this? It's just a massive moving wall. Oh, wow. What the fuck, Hermione? Are you... stuck? You look like you're frozen, at least. Even your robes became still. I don't understand. Are you being dragged along the ground now? Forget it. I'll see what's on the end of the train. I don't understand why the Hogwarts Express needs to be this tall from the outside. Uh... Hermione? What are you doing now? You might fall off the map at this rate. Okay, I guess you got caught in place then. Meanwhile, I'm still walking further away, although now that I'm looking at it again, I think the train might be stationary and the scenery is moving instead. And they set up different rows of trees moving along at different speeds to create a nice parallax effect here. Uh, I guess it works either way. Let's see, what's next? It's like, there's endless possibilities, but I never know what to try. I just stumble upon shit by accident. I suppose I could go to the last train car. It's not here? What's the deal now? It's gotta be somewhere, and... Look, even got little walls of rain falling outside this last set of windows. Oh, there's something over there, and it just disappeared. I really don't know why that happens in debug mode. It's not like it's a glitch in the actual game when you play it as it was meant to be played, so what's going on here? What the fuck is this switch? Well, at least I found the last train car. I'm not sure why it's all the way over here. 
Nor am I sure what this is. Oh hey, you can see where the opening cutscene takes place. Hmm. And what's the point of this dome supposed to be? What's that? A cloud that's solidified into a used condom? At least when you stand in the middle of this area, it succeeds in appearing to have a much larger internal volume than it actually does. Hey, wait a minute. There's the weird cloud again. Maybe that smaller dome is meant to be used to generate the skybox for the rest of the map. In which case, yeah, you would definitely intend to put it far away from the rest of the areas you're meant to explore so you don't accidentally see it. There's the Dementor and a broken version of the door and luggage that's meant to come apart and be thrown everywhere. It's not so scary when you're sneaking up from behind. Let's try some more experiments and see what happens. Oops. Looks like I woke up the Dementor and he's banging on the door again. It's not going to show me another Depulso icon, is it? Fine, we'll just leave. Okay, so you're still stuck here. I'll help you out, don't worry. I think you might have just freed yourself somehow, but I'll ghost you anyways. Are we really going so fast that your robes are blowing up like that? You just went through at least two trees. Get back on the train, please. It's gotta be warmer inside anyways, and you can continue to ignore Dumbledore instead of saying hello. Oh, brilliant. Scabbers could have gone anywhere. Where the fuck did you come from, Ron? Crookshanks doesn't understand that it's wrong to chase Scabbers. There he goes. Good, Harry's back. We'll try walking through the train semi-normally this time. Oh, good, I'm still Hermione. Come on, Harry, don't just stand there. Ron, how could you have possibly spotted Scabbers up there when you weren't even looking in this general direction? You're still not even in the room. We just need to walk up to it, and we'll be able to start climbing. Unfortunately, a whole lot of nothing happens for the next couple of minutes. So I tried to open this with both Harry and Hermione, but the other two never joined in. Now they won't even do it when I'm controlling Ron again, so I'll just have to ghost through the wall. Watch out! Are you two going to help me out or what? I just got hit. Now Harry got hit too. And some more cutscene shit played out for another minute without much interesting happening. Actually, I believe it's a copy of the Monster Book of Monsters. Cast the pages. We'll knock them out of the air, Harry. You finish them off. Alternatively, we could just stand here and do nothing. You can't take control of the Monster Book of Monsters, but it's not attacking us. Oops. Not until I attack first. That wasn't smart. But it just flew right over us. The other pages don't even care what's going on right now. The only way to finish this is to actually defeat the book, I guess. Well, I don't know the game's internal name for this entity. I didn't check it before recording this clip. I thought it was M-B-O-M, -M, though. I guess Hermione is going to take care of this single-handedly like Ron did earlier with the flying books. I thought I was about done, but it keeps sending out just one more page in the end. Finally. Well done. Is that okay to scream now? Ron, What's with the defensive stances? You're not about to attack each other, are you? A wizard card. I love collecting these. Even that dude has his wand out. And yeah, that sounds wrong. I don't care. 
can look inside the Folio Universitas. I don't care, Hermione. I have a better way of finding scabbers anyways. Yeah, see, there he is. Although this didn't help much because I don't know where I am now. It's interesting though, Ron has a separate 3D model of himself just for holding the newspaper. But okay, whatever works best, I suppose. Let's get myself out of here, if I can. Come on, hurry up. There we go. Well, I think. There it is, found the sky again. Wait, no I didn't. I'm not sure what's going on now. Aw oh, man, you know what? Since Scabbers is so tiny, he's going to take much longer to cover the same amount of distance as any human character. I'm going back to Harry. Actually, I changed my mind. Let's possess a Dementor instead. God damn it. Again with this shit where I automatically fall through the ground. I guess I could go bother the trio before they move into the final train car, though. <laughs> this is the opposite of the problem I had with Hagrid, where he was so tall I can only see his head and not much of the back of his body, but... Uh, here, though, I see the back, but not the top of his head. They go fuck that thing up. Oh, it won't let me cast Expecto Patronum now. Shit. I wanted to see what would happen if I did. Alternatively, I guess I could beat it up like a pinata, see if any souls spill out. Oh, what the fuck? Now I can cast Expecto Patronum? What did I do wrong the first time? It doesn't even react or anything. Yeah, just a bit of clever camera positioning to seamlessly teleport the characters all the way to that other train car across the map. Whoa, weird close-up. And I didn't realize the luggage in here was still being banged around. And now we'll see if the Dementor reappears where it's supposed to. I guess normally they do when they're needed somewhere. Yep, there it is. Although these iron bars from the Depulso spell I cast several minutes ago are still blocking the doorway. I'll save you though. Let's see to be Harry. Oh come on, Harry, get up! Oh, so much for that idea. Can't do anything other than rotate the camera around his unconscious body. Go for help, my ass! No one is here- What the fuck did I just do? No one is here except for Draco and two copies of Scabbers. If I had found you in the initial train compartment with Professor Lupin, even if he was still asleep, that would have at least made sense. And damn, that mist actually hurts Harry. I just learned that for the first time ever, since this game is so easy it never has a chance to reach you anyways. I want to block the door with Aragog's body. God damn it, he didn't show up. That weird mist! It's creeping towards Harry! It's making him worse! I can't summon a second Dementor in here either. What the fuck was that? Did Harry just jump up out of nowhere? Yeah, he did, and then he fell down and collapsed all over again. Black under our cloaks. Go! Harry! Are you alright? I'm not sure. He can reanimate himself and jump up from a fetal position in under a second, but on the other hand, that may have been an involuntary spasm, so who the hell knows. What was that thing? A Dementor. One of the Dementors of Azkaban. Still want to get Aragog in here. Back. We'll be at Hogwarts in a few minutes. Are you sure you're all right, Harry? No, not SCTP. Right. Summon H game. No, there's no F in there. Come on, hurry up before it fades to black. Ah, got him. 
Just another skybox. So this has the secondary castle graphic, just like we've seen in the past when flying around on the grounds. From this far away, we can see both halves of the grounds, but when we get closer, the game only wants to seem to have one half loaded at a time. Now the sound effects are back. Chirping birds. Probably shitting on the floor at the same time, I don't know. I'm not sure what the benefit is of setting it up this way. I mean, the developers would have a better sense than me about what solutions are the most practical to implement, so I'm not being critical either way, I just find it weird. But they did a good job positioning everything so that you can't see the secondary castle graphic when the first one is loaded. Assuming you're walking on the ground normally, of course, so they made it work out in the end. And that's what happens when you disable the skybox. Curiously, this seems as though this map has two skybox halves going on at once or something. This is my second attempt at getting these two to follow me while they're in fly mode. The first time I used ghost mode and they just went through the walls and ceiling and it was a mess. You just have to take control of each of them with SCTP, and then use the fly command on both of them. And when you switch back to Harry, start flying yourself and see what happens. They just stopped? I guess the game thinks they're close enough to me that they don't need to keep running. Okay, clearly they're stuck if they don't start following me again from that far away. Shit, don't run into the door. Okay, I want to stay in here for a bit. Okay, running to the side freed Hermione, and I got Ron now. I wonder if they'll run through the doorways. Hey, come over here! Well, I got Ron at least. They're rather ahead, Ron. Where's Hermione? Damn it, Ron, you weren't supposed to run back out there. Although I guess it's my fault for going out there first. Okay, so this time I got Hermione to follow me through the doorway, but Ron got left behind. And now they're both gone. Oops. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, that works too, I guess. Now you won't follow me at all? You're just stuck standing there? Don't give me that look. I used the fly command again, but it seems every time anyone uses the stairs, it reverts us all back to walking mode. Hmm, locked. I'll have to come back and check it later. Or in the case of these two, no free movement of any kind. Will you guys quit fucking around and help me out here? Even if I slam into them, it doesn't change their behavior. I don't see why changing their mode to fly prevents them from joining in on a multi-person spellcasting event. Although maybe they can't cast when running at the same time. 